Hello there, Happy New Year, and a big thank you to everybody that has sent support to me and to Pleasure Beach Experience ever since we announced that we're rebranding for 2023. Before I tell you what the new name of Pleasure Beach Experience is going to be, I must first apologise for how I sound in this video. I've got a very sore throat, talking is not easy at the minute, I've got blocked sinuses as well, which is just an everyday occurrence for me, but I'm going to try my best to talk through what we're rebranding to and talk a little bit about the content plans we've got for 2023. Basically talk for a little while while my throat will hold up, but it isn't doing for very long. So I'm going to get straight to the point. Pleasure Beach Experience is rebranding to Your Experience Guide. Now, why have we chosen this name? Well, I'll be honest with you. It took us three months to come up with a name that all four of us liked. We have gone through a variety of ideas where we have literally filmed mock-up videos to go, hello there and welcome to such and such a video. And it's gone, oh, it doesn't sound very good. And then we've tried another one and another one and another one. And we've put it into logos. We've put it into writing. We've put it into videos. And there were so many different names that we looked at and we just didn't like them or one of us would like them and the other three wouldn't, or it'd be a 50-50 split. And we wanted something where all four of us agreed on it. And it took some time. It took a lot of planning. It took a lot of thought. We even asked people. We told a couple of people we we're going to rebrand and then said, uh, oh, by the way, what do you think we should call it? And those people came back with some good ideas. And one person in particular, I'm not going to name names, they will know who they are if they're watching. They sent a message to me in early December and said, Scott, why don't you call it the Experience Guide? I sat there and went, yeah, that's not a bad idea actually, because it marries up two websites that I've been part of. Pleasure Beach Experience, we take experience from that. Blackpool Pleasure Beach Guide, we take the guide from that and we get the Experience Guide. So I thought, yeah, I'll have a think about that one. And then... A couple of hours later, flew to Madrid with Becca and we were just sat there on the plane chatting about ideas for new videos for 2023 and then Becca says, oh, what about calling it the Experience Guide? And I thought, well, that's two people in the same day that have said this. And then Becca was like, oh, I can do a logo with this idea and I've got some ideas for it straight away. And then we sat there, we chatted about it a little bit and then went, actually, we'll take the out of it and we'll call it your your experience guide and that's what we're happy with and we put the idea to Mike we put the idea to Mark both were happy with it I uh, sent that idea out to a couple of people and they were like yeah it sounds good you should go for it so we have so it's your experience guide is going to be the new name of this channel going forward that will of course be reflected on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram LinkedIn TikTok everywhere that we're on the events will come under that name as well. In terms of content, one of the things that I've been asked a lot ever since we announced the rebrand is, will you still go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Will you still do Blackpool Pleasure Beach videos? Absolutely. Absolutely we will. We've all got Pleasure Beach season passes still. We've got plans to go on opening weekend. We've got plans to do the first late night riding. We've got plans to do the other late night riding there. We've got plans to go on a weekday. We've got We've got loads of plans to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Alongside that though, there's going to be more Alton Towers, more Fort Park, more Drayton Manor. We're finally going to do a video at Chessington when the new coaster opens. We're going to visit some more of the UK seaside parks, places like Fantasy Island, Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, places that we've rarely ever covered on this channel, or if we have, we've done it once and never again. There's going to be a lot more UK coverage other than Pleasure Beach that we've ever done before but also we've got things like Port Ventura's new coaster, Park Warner's new coaster, Park Asterix's new coaster, we're going back to Leesburg, we're going to do other parks in Sweden, I'm going back to Florida in November. Blackpool Pleasure Beach will very much still be part of this channel, the old videos will still be there, there will be new ones but Blackpool Pleasure Beach is no longer the primary focus of this channel. It will make up a part of what we do on this channel, but it will not be 
the main focus anymore. It will just be part of the main focus. In today's video, I did plan to talk about our full content plan for 2023 because there is a big plan in place already for the first part of the year, but my throat is just not gonna allow that today. So I will probably do a video in a couple of days time, maybe on Tuesday, maybe on Thursday, maybe next Sunday. I really don't know, I don't know how long this is gonna be bad for, but as soon as I can talk properly again, I will do a proper video about our content plans for the new year. There is loads of plans. We are now doing three uploads instead of two uploads a week. Many thanks for watching. Many thanks for your support. Please stick with us as we transition from Pleasure Beach Experience to your experience guide. Some of the old videos will go. That won't be vlogs. That will just be like really old park footage videos or really old off-ride videos all of which will be replaced by newer updated versions in 2023. But for now, that's all from me because my voice is about to go. Many thanks for your support. Have a great 2023. Please stick with us and I will see you in the next video.